What's good, y'all? One time for the slime. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in and supporting the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about sound selection and basically, like, kind of like go through that. Uh, this is really more specifically for drums, but I'll touch on like sound selection for bass as well and uh, just in general. So, like, sound selection is basically like the sounds that you choose to make a beat, right? The idea is to choose the best sounds to make the best beat. You want to choose, you want to, you want to have like a cohesive beat. And I'm going to really give you guys like a live example uh, using this melody from the uh, Wonderland Loop Kit, which should by now be available online. This, I actually haven't released it yet as of the making of this video, but um, you can head to the site and get this kit. Uh, it should be for fairly cheap. But yeah, I got this melody straight from the kit. And um, like basically we're going to select the drums for it. I'm gonna kind of like talk through this as well. All right, so first of all, when I'm selecting drums, I more than likely would just turn the melody down for the time being, especially, and I'll move it into the mixer. Okay, so now you know, kind of know what level you're working with right here. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit, but. Why do I do that? Because you can hear the other sounds better if this sound is lower. Simple as that. So I'm gonna go through my kits. Like whatever drum kit, kit you guys have is the drum kit you guys have. I recommend trying to get good drum kits. Uh, I think I get mine from hiphopdrumsamples.com. That's where I get most of mine. Um, you know, I, I get them from a lot of different places, but I, I really like the Beat Butcher kit. So we'll go, we'll go with this one. So the Beat Butcher kits, man, I actually really want to get the new ones. Um, hopefully I can sell some freaking uh, loop kits <laughs> and buy me some more kits. Sell loop kits, buy more kits. So um, what I like to do is I like to like, oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So like what I do is I, draw, I drag in like a bunch of hi-hats that I feel like fit the beat. So I'm, I'm gonna do hi-hat, kick, and snare, just for this example. And for basically for bass, you just you kind of just use the same technique. You just kind of like shuffle around and try to find the most cohesive bass. You see what I'm doing here is like, I'll throw in multiple hi-hats. Then I'll kind of like, I'll select the best one out of these. I'll show, I'm gonna show you like the whole thing. Same thing with kick. So that kick sounds alright. See how this one just like doesn't really. Like this one especially like doesn't really fit. Pull this one in just for example. But that one doesn't really work out. So we can't just use any kick with any freaking hi hat with any snare. And I'll admit like this is kind of like a challenging concept to even teach, right? Because it's like it's a sound, you know. So like the key, oh, also the key with sound selection is patience. It's the same thing with selecting a melody, bass. And it's hard because sometimes when I'm making beats, I feel like just going through the beat fast. Like, you know, picking these isn't, I mean, actually I kind of do enjoy this part. I would say it's like not necessarily like super fun going through sounds, but like, But yeah, like the key with this part is patience. Okay, so out of these, we probably have at least one kick, one snare, one hi-hat that I can use, right? Okay. Man. Let's let's get on let's get on down to it now. Alright, so let me um and I'm just doing the drums because I don't have my piano right here. I'm just using my computer keyboard here okay so I'll go through, I'll go like this I'll like... all right I kind of like either this one or that one let's try these kicks so that one's just kind of soft That one's good too. I'm sorry too, actually. Just 
kind of like a whole different vibe. Okay, so maybe that one, that one. I'm holding down Alt to do that. It's my mouse. Okay, I was holding. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I'm holding down Alt to like smooth these around. That's key, because otherwise it's kind of. Dang it, man! Because other. <laughs> okay, definitely not that one. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna let's select a hat. Like, which one of these? I'm actually doing this faster than I probably usually would. Sometimes I go into two, maybe even three kits to select it. That's kind of like the extreme. Sometimes I'll do that, especially if I feel like a beat's gonna turn out well. Like if I feel like I make a melody that's absolutely out of this world, I might even take even more time. I'll be like, all right, let me not mess this one up. I'll put this like in between kind of the snare and the kick. Yeah, I think that's the best snare. I think it's between these two for the kick. I think both of these could work. This is, I think this is a good example of like, this might just depend on like what type of style of the beat you're going for, but I'm just gonna like put something simple here. Time grind with slime. Yeah, you know I'm fine. Get the money, I'm mine, mine, my my own. Yeah, you know I'm on. Yeah, slime time, one time on the grind. Yeah, you know I'm just slow on the beat. Yeah, knowing I'm floating, I'm flowing in the ocean like a boat. Here we go again. I'm just slow and I'm showing it. <laughs> okay. Like honestly, this drum pattern isn't like spectacular, and maybe I should have shown the bass in the example. So you could understand what the whole track would sound like. Because I would usually do the bass after this. But um, that's sound selection, y'all. Sound selection in a nutshell. I hope you learned something. Um, like. Peace out.